All right, so it's about that time for me to make a monthly update on my first niche website and my attempts to reverse engineer Project 24. I'm gonna to try to make this video as quick as possible and just get right to the numbers because I know that's what people care about and I don't wanna make this any longer than it has to be. So I'm gonna start off with my Google Analytics. You can see here are my last seven days on my analytics dashboard. I'm gonna to get to the last 30 days and page views and whatnot, but I wanted to just show this real quick because I noticed this and I didn't, I don't think I showed this last time, but if I zoom out and I look at the last 90 days on this graph, you can see there's a bit of a hockey stick here. June 1st, I was at 300 uh, monthly users and now I am currently at just about 2,000 monthly users. So that's pretty neat. I was happy to see that. That was, that was kind of fun to see like a little mini hockey stick. I don't know if it's actually a hockey stick, but it's pretty cool. So let me just get right to the overview on my audience and how many page views I've had. I noticed in the last videos, I think I was showing the wrong screen for page views, but here you can see in the last seven days, I've had 729 page views. And in the last 30 days this month, I got 2,500 page views. I think that's pretty good. So far, we're on month six. I don't really know what I'm doing. I just, you know, published a bunch of content and just got out as many articles as I could in the last six months. Uh, everything has slowed down. I haven't really gotten any more articles uh, published. I think maybe two since the last video so i'm still kind of slacking on that a little bit but i've been super busy with everything i know i keep saying that in, in every one of these videos but it's true uh my amazon affiliates so here's what happened with amazon i messed up the first time and they canceled my account you can see that in the previous video i showed the email that they you know rejected my application I went in and I fixed everything, or at least I thought I fixed everything. And then this time around, Amazon gives me this new notification telling me that they canceled it for a second time for other reasons, which I couldn't figure out. So then I obviously reapplied again and went in and scrubbed every link that I had and put in a new link. I also have been sharing my Amazon affiliate account with my YouTube channel, although I had different tracking IDs. I don't know if I was telling them that it was coming from YouTube and not from my site. Regardless, I'm hoping that they don't cancel me again. I had like four bucks until they canceled me for the previous month. And now I got 16 cents from you know one purchase right when I reinstated my account. So it's been kind of frustrating with Amazon and dealing with all of that stuff. Luckily, I don't have enough traffic where it's a lot of money, but it's still kind of annoying to have to just deal with that stuff. But here's you know the big money for Amazon this month, um, a whopping 16 cents. I've been getting a lot of clicks. A lot of my clicks are coming from my YouTube channel, but I'm also getting quite a bit of clicks from my website, so that's pretty cool. And then let me show the Ezoic ad revenue. Okay, for the month of July, you can see right here, I have made $10. If I count the $4 that Amazon kind of screwed me out of uh, from canceling my account, I made almost 15 bucks this last month. I was shooting for 20. It's pretty cool that I made this much making at least like 50 cents a day according to Zoic. So I'll be making more money and as I get more page views, I'll make even more money. But it's still, the numbers are kind of light and I'm really hoping that I get a big increase. The niche that I am writing on is kind of dependent on COVID and it's kind of hard to social distance in the activity that I chose to write about. So I know that COVID has been kind of probably affecting my site quite a bit and I'm hoping that when this kind of dies down a little and things get back to normal that my site will start to do a little bit better but that's pretty much it I, I'm gonna wrap this up I don't want to you know make this go on any longer than it has to if you've been following along with these videos thanks for watching again I am not endorsed by the guys at Project 24. I did not pay for the program. I'm just trying to do what I can with all the free material that Jim and Ricky offer. So just keep that in mind and take everything that I'm doing with a grain of salt. I am by no means an expert. This is my first niche website and I really don't know what I'm doing and I've probably spent way too much money on this site as it is. With all that said, I do plan on creating another YouTube channel for another niche topic apart from this channel and I plan on creating another blog site, hopefully before the end of the year. 
Uh, once summer's over and things die down and I'm going to be stuck at home a little bit more, I'm really hoping that I can crank out some more stuff. So with all that said, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more about me, Reverse Engineering Project 24, or if you're interested in learning how I became a web developer and a self-taught programmer. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.